computer off floor. I've been saying it for a long time and I'm saying it again today. Your PC should be up off the ground if you have even the smallest amount of respect for it. I've never given the reasons exactly why I say this though, so I'm gonna do that today too. If your PC is already up on your desk in a place of honor and prestige, view on to discover all the reasons you are right. And if your PC is on the floor, don't worry. I'm not here to mock you or call your character into question. I'm here to change your mind and give you five plus good reasons to get your computer off floor. Excellent. Before I dive in, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone on Twitter who sent me setup picks to use as examples in this video. You guys rock. Dust, though, let's lead with the most practical reason. A computer on the floor will suck in more dust and debris than a PC that's raised up off the floor, ideally onto a desk, but a stand or a box or hell, a milk crate or a large stable rock that's at least 18 inches or 45.72 centimeters tall is also acceptable. Dust, you see, is affected by the Earth's gravitational pull and falls to the ground. Computers have cooling fans that create areas of low pressure around their intakes, thus causing the dust and other detritus that collects on the ground to steadily drift towards them. Eventually, said materials are sucked up into the PC itself, clogging filters, clinging to fan blades and heat sinks, and making things look bad in general while also impeding airflow. Floor-based computers will reach critical mass in terms of dust buildup three to five times faster than desk-based systems, which causes temperatures to spike, frequencies to throttle, and hatred to be kindled, which leads to anger, etc., etc. You know how that goes. Now, I've heard it said by some people who will not be named, like Adam, aka Eposvox, that they keep their PC on the floor, and it's just fine. So here, I have a little capture PC down in the floor next to this TV stand that has like an 8700K and a 2070 it. Because they only have limited room to work with and so that's more convenient for them and they don't have problems with dust or anything like that. Well, that might be fine for Adam in his biosafety level 4 CDC grade clean room where he apparently keeps his computer, but I've got news for you Mr. Vox. The rest of us live our lives wallowing in varying degrees of filth and squalor and every time I vacuum the damn floor it's already dusty again within an hour. In the real world, dust is everywhere and there's more of it on the floor so it's a bad place keep your computer. My next reason is pure aesthetics. Keeping your PC on the floor just looks bad. And I've seen enough of these rate my setup submissions to know that how your gaming area looks is something that a lot of people care about. If you built your own PC in the past five years, chances are it's festooned with RGB, whether you wanted it to be or not. And also probably has a nice tempered glass side panel so you can admire the practical and artistic efforts that went into the design and manufacturing of your components. Modern PCs are made to be seen and appreciated, and you're not going to be able to ogle your custom lighting scheme, fixate on the stylish yet edgy lines of your overpriced GPU's cooling solution, or get the most up-to-date system stats from the bright and colorful LED display that's inexplicably mounted to your AIO CPU block if your PC is on the floor between your trash can and your dust bunny collection. Placing your system on your desk or on a dedicated table, shelf, or stand just objectively looks better and also lets you actually look at your PC rather than relegating it to the harsh and unwelcoming environment on the ground. Or even worse, locked in some cabinet of shame where it will undoubtedly wither away from a mixture of heat pooling and neglect. Next, please consider the abuse that a floor-dwelling PC is bound to encounter via kicks, scuffs, and other potential under desk mishaps. We've all been there. You're in the midst of an intense gaming session, popping off headshots and carrying your team, and you start to get a little excited. You get the happy legs in general, or you're suddenly startled and all your muscles go rigid for a moment. And what's gonna happen to your PC down there? You're gonna kick it. I've kicked a PC on the floor just getting into my chair due to base level motor functions failing me, and the potential harm is threefold. First, a nasty scuff from your nasty shoe that, let's be honest, you're not gonna get down there and clean anytime soon. Second, if your PC is sentient, and I'm not saying it is, but maybe, how do you think that makes it feel? You've already placed it at the lowest point in your living space that you can, but now you're kicking it too? for shame. And third, you could actually damage the system, especially with an unfortunately aimed kick towards a tempered glass window. Now you're cleaning shards of glass out of your PC, your hands are bloodied and probably require stitches, and your team probably lost the round of whatever game you're previously playing and doing so well at. All avoidable if you just got your PC up off the floor. My fourth reason is right here. Her name is Nori, and she is accompanied by Hero, 
who would also like to say hi. Pets are awesome. Even cats too, if you don't mind them plotting to kill you. But pets introduce complications when it comes to computers. There's the pet hair issue, of course, which can be sucked into a PC in a similar way to dust, as previously mentioned, but dialed up to max, especially if you have a double-coated breed like a corgi. There's also a good chance that your loyal pup might want to curl up under your desk while you're gaming or otherwise occupying yourself. And there's that much less space with a tower case down there. But again, the most practical reason to not keep your PC on the floor is to reduce possible damage from either pet fur buildup or physical contact. Dogs are sometimes known to dream while napping, and Hero in particular likes to flail his legs wildly when dreaming, which could easily do some damage to objects in the vicinity. Kids can also be grouped into this category. Once your little one starts to crawl, any computer on the floor is vulnerable to sticky hands and unscheduled shutdown when they discover the power button, or those lovely drool stains that develop after they decide your case makes an excellent teething ring. Don't force yourself into the difficult decision between getting a dog or a cat or having a child versus keeping your PC safe. Finally, if you watch my channel, chances are you have at least considered building yourself a gaming computer, and many of you actually have. So ask yourself, do you take pride in your work? Are you happy with the efforts you put forth to save the money, gather the components, painstakingly assemble the thing, and get it up and running? Now compare that to other accomplishments in your life. Do you have any trophies or plaques or sentimental objects that hold meaning for you? And let me know where you keep those things. My guess is that none of those are on the floor, unless maybe you got one of those absurdly huge trophies that no shelf or table can support. But the point is, we do not typically consign items of this nature to the floor, and so we should not do that with our computers either. It's a simple idea, but one that I think some people just don't consider. You should take pride in your work and place it in a position of esteem and recognition. And those are my five unassailable reasons why your PC should not be on the floor. But I have a bonus reason. It's a bit more abstract, but consider the language we use when talking about this subject or any subject. If something is good, it is often uplifting. If you want to improve your mood, you should cheer up. If we want to promote something, we place it on a pedestal. Contrast that with the negative language we use when denigrating something. It might be brought down by being called lowly or base or lowborn or a low down dirty shame. Down is bad and up is good for us humans, generally speaking, so keep your PC in a good place rather than a bad place. Also, because I respect you all, I didn't even bring up carpeting, because everyone knows you should never put a PC directly onto a carpet or rug, and obviously no one ever actually does that. I mean, you'd have all the bad floor juju that I'd already discussed, plus carpeting, blocking your bottom intakes, and risk of static buildup. I'm glad no one does that. Let's talk solutions though, just to round things out. You can put your computer on your desk, of course, if there's room, tucked behind or in between or next to your monitor or monitors. You can build or buy a stand or a small table for your computer. Again, I recommend at least 1.5 feet tall or taller, which is what I did in our computer room. This is a great solution if you have a sit-stand desk you need to sit the computer next to and still have some slack in the cables. Some of you are very limited on space though, and I sympathize there, but that's still not an excuse in my mind. Consider adding a computer shelf to your wall. Just make sure it's mounted to studs and rated to support more than the weight of your PC. Or you could just wall mount the system if you have a case that supports that. Thermaltake's Core P3 and P5 cases are popular for this method. But there you have it guys, I have finally laid out the reasons why I always say computer off floor. Thanks again to everyone who sent me pictures on Twitter, and I'm sorry I couldn't use all of them, but your feedback is always welcome, so please let me know in the comments down below where your PC resides. And if it's on the floor, let me know if I've convinced you to make a change. You can also click the like button if you enjoyed this video, check out my store at paulsharbor.net for a selection of excellent merchandise options, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one in the future. Thanks again everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.